Welcome to Abu Dhabi, and we're just about to start today's race here at the Yas Marina circuit. This is a track known for its long, long back straight, and it serves as a fantastic opportunity for overtaking, going into the slow speed corners that follow it. The drivers will be racing here at the Yas Marina circuit through 21 corners and a lap distance of just over 3.4 miles. There are a few opportunities to pass with long straights and DRS zones in two places, turns eight and turn 11. Plenty of close racing then, plenty of speed, and I hope plenty of drama to be found in the laps ahead. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Anthony, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Albon, Lewis Hamilton and Bottas, Magnussen, Grosjean, Sainz and Sergio Perez, Ocon, Norris, Daniel Ricciardo and Stroll, Latifi, Russell, Daniel Kvyat and Antonio Giovinazzi. Raikkonen and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot today. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. so far.
can now use DRS. DRS now available. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Victory for the team from Milton Keynes then, after a quality performance. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Some amazing talent out on the track today. But Anthony, who would you pick as your driver of the day? There's a few contenders, but George Russell definitely stood out, I think. A really solid drive from him today, and one I'm sure the fans enjoyed. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.